Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. Are you guys also a player who has rested and stopped playing Summoner's War because you are so sick of it in the past years? But recently, hearing that it's gotten so much easier in many ways, did you come back? Well, this account is exactly that case. Fluffy Chubby has been playing for a while. However, he's been gone for 2-3 years. He recently came back and wants to know what he needs to focus on. To be fair, for somebody that came back recently, he has gotten all of the Tokibi Lords, which is pretty awesome. I also see the Urdong right there, and I think that's Hanur in front of us. Or is that Hey Gang? Not really sure. He wants to know what he needs to focus on. And I think this is a lot of questions that players will have. Uh, when they come back into the game because I'll be lost as well and they want some direction They want somebody that is better in the game that will pinpoint Where they should focus on and we'll do that today in this account review account created for 1700 days So I know that this doesn't say anything. He told me that he didn't play for two three years. Let's assume three years That's at least 900 days well, More than 900 really right 1000 like 100 days, but let's just say 900 days so let's say he's been actively playing for 800 days at the very least. So I'm not going to really expect high rune quality here. Let's see if I'm right. Um, R5, pfft, I'm pretty sure most of his runes aren't going to be fully grinded. And at the same time, he's not going to have great runes. So there has to be a priority. I will say get better runes because if you don't have decent runes in general or in the beginning, then you need better runes. You need to get good runes. And I will start with only focusing one dungeon because if you don't have great rune quality, I think focusing on one dungeon, getting the fastest runs possible, will give you the most. Will give you the most in a short period of time. Obviously, time has to be accounted. If you don't take into account of time, then you could just say just work on all the dungeons. You'll get better, obviously. <laughs> um, but that's um, but that's what I'm guessing. Okay, but he's doing total normal hard. That's great. He was or is in a G1 guild, we'll check that out. C1 in regular arena, we don't even know if this was before the update, and also F3 RTA. Now, if that's his record, I'm gonna assume that his collection box does not look that great. So he's going to be lacking box-wise. We did see some LD5, so very lucky there. But we can already see down here that he's missing a lot of core units. For example, for RTA, you could say that Mei Wing is strong. You could say... Well... For a lot of, for RTA, a lot of things are strong, but I think Mei Wing is pretty much one of the strongest units, especially if you take into account of all of RTA together, not regarding your rank. If you go up in G3, like, things could change, right? They make everything work, but for lower rank, I think like units like Mei Wing is really, really strong. Not having Nora... Okay, but we could just see that there's a lot of dark portraits here telling us he does not have a lot of units. Good to see that he has Camilla. So at least we could add something to his A D. Did he have Vanessa? He did. Okay, Vanessa Camilla. That's already that's already a start with Juno and he has Pyongchar. That's perfect. He at least has a good AD that he could run. I'll run that. He could also maybe, you know, switch that off with Zen if he thinks that he wants to just do it faster. But I think Pyongchar is really strong these days, so I'll do that. Mm, Leo, T no Leo though. Wow, no Tiana. I wonder what he chose for his Nat Five event. If it was me, I would have a hundred percent, hundred twenty percent, always would have picked Leo. No question. If you don't have Leo, I think Leo is definitely the pick you have to go for. But he didn't choose that. Okay, and I think you made a bad choice. I don't care what you chose. I'm gonna say it's a bad choice. Okay, light and dark. Let's see how many LD fives you have. Let's see how lucky you were. Okay, you have Ultong, which is kind of mediocre. Okay, you have Hollyberry Cookie, which is Audrey. This is decent these days. Uh, in a, in AD, Chandra, Pyongchar, Audrey is something that we see. So maybe you could run that. And you do have Hanur. So, a uh, recent guild, uh, a guild mate of mine recently pulled Hanur, and he hates it because the multiplier of this is so garbage. And I agree that it's garbage. Even with some of the best rune quality, I don't think you could go through these crazy defenses that are that are up these days, that are filled with passives, right? This should be the counter of passives, but then... 
it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work because the multipliers are so low. So yeah, I understand his frustration and I understand a lot of people's frustration. But I'll be happy to have him. I wouldn't be sad, but I'll be equally as disappointed after using him probably. No LD5s for Dark. So all of his LD5s is water, but he was lucky with Dark Siri and Vritra. So you have multiple siege defense options. And I think if you're in G1, if you're lacking room quality, you shouldn't have too many defenses anyways. So you have more than enough to be making these defenses, good defenses at that. Rune wise, let's see if I was correct. If he's at least doing his grinds R5, then I'll be happy. Like, yeah, having low rune quality is inevitable, I think, in your level, unless you're spending money in the game buying rune packs. Uh, but perfecting, like, mediocre runes because they're the best runes you currently have anyways is something that you cannot control. So I'll say that you're playing the game correctly, but eventually you'll want to get better runes. Okay, yeah, so low rune quality plus lacking grinds is what we already see. And... Usually when I see this with better rune quality, I would tell them to work on R5. You should be focusing on, fi on R5 right now. Uh, but with right now, with the runes that I'm seeing, I think you should be definitely focusing on runes. And that's just Violet runes. Eventually, you'll have to do all the runes because I'm... Ooh, Swift. Ooh, I didn't expect that though. Okay. Swift might be a little better. wonder why. Maybe you've been farming Swift for a while. Yeah, okay. That's a good rune. I mean, the substats are pretty garbage, but you'll take out that resistance for either HP percent or attack percent, depending on who you, who you want to put it in. Okay. Yeah, you look like you have, it looks like you have one or two good runes here. There's a plus five on the 18. Questionable, another 23. Okay. Better than violent. So at least for swift runes, you might just want to get grinds on all of them. Despair. It's also disappointing. So I think I stand with what I expected. I expected low rune quality. Uh, there is one or two good runes here and there, but overall, rune quality is low. But I do see some runes are grinded. Not fully grinded, but they are grinded. So I would probably make a solo R5 team and one dungeon team. I say one because after you farm a couple months in one dungeon, you could make a different dungeon and try to get something better there. And make another dungeon and try to uh, make a very fast team there and disregard the other dungeon. So you could focus on one particular dungeon, focus your runes, and you know run the fastest dungeon team that you can. And I'll start with I'll just start with GB12 right now, or GB of his heart, sorry, and solo R5 to get yourself rolling. Yeah, that's the only thing I'll do, rune wise. And I'm I'm pretty sure your artifacts are not gonna be really nice. Because this is probably something that you're not focusing on since your rune quality is so low. I'll just make sure all of your units do have an artifact that somewhat fit whatever substat the artifact has. So arena defense, I think I think I'll just go super tanky. Uh, a lot of people go Juno these days because dot team is pretty popular. Um, so Juno counters that. And also the lucky revenge could also kind of counter Tiana's or a, a speed team. Uh, Juno definitely counters Tiana because she gets a speed buff if there's a debuff. And that's a buff. So Tiana's skill too doesn't crit her all the time. But I'll probably run this. And for offense, because you don't have Tiana and Leo, that's questionable. You probably have a very hard time running a team right now. Yeah, that's hard. You could try the one-shot type of team because I know you have, I think I saw the Jameer, I think I saw Adriana as well, or was I mistaken? But you could take Bastet, Jameer, Sonia, and Cassandra. Definitely one of the teams I'll run. Oh wait, you didn't have Cassandra. Hmm. I mean, this can be a replacement for Cassandra. I don't know what kind of rune quality you have to have for her to hit for like 45k, 60k. Uh, I will probably... I don't think I'll use it for a, for an outspeeding team. Since Bastet's base speed is pretty bad, probably just take the crit rate lead, get a get a harder hitting Kali, and just go into tanky teams. So that so that'll be one. I wonder if you could make the bomb team. Do you have Sierra? Okay, you don't have Sierra, so bomb team is out of the question. Other than that, I'm not sure what you would run other than the classic Lucian type of teams. Yeah, without Leo and Tiana, you are extremely limited. You got Chu. 
Oh, you do have Jogen. Yeah, if you had Sierra, bomb team would have been possible. And I also don't see Chiu. Yeah, I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, Chiu's not here either, so. I'll just definitely perfect at least one of these teams. Um, and whichever team here is working well, I'll use that. If you can make a cool team with Udong and Hanur. Because maybe Udong's passive will help out with Hanur's lackluster damage. So light damage up. Urdong, isn't this a stripper on skill 2? Uh, the strip chance is very low though, I know that. You could try a second turn team here. It's not like truly second turn, second turn. So you can't make it too slow, which will equal to lacking damage because you have to account for at least some speed. I guess you still would need Galleon here. Yeah, so it's a second turn team. Probably around 70, 80 speed, because if you make it slower, if you go into a speed team, it can get lapped, and you do not want that. And sadly, the Udong will be your main stripper. Oh, actually, no, if it's a second turn team, you might not need a stripper anyways. So let's say you're going to a fast team. You know, those are usually like 300 speed. So if you make it, if you make your team, actually, even 80 speed might get lapped. So you might make it closer to 100 speed. Um, if you make it 80 speed, the attack bar booster or whatever unit that goes first in the opponent defense might move twice and that could wreck stuff. So you'll want to at least 100 speed uh, where Delphoi goes first, then Galleon. Well, actually Delphoi or Dome might be a better turn order because maybe you want Strip. Maybe there is a case where you want a Stripper and then Galleon goes and then Hanun goes. Worth a shot. I'm not so sure how well it will do, but it's definitely worth a shot. So those are the defenses and offenses that I'll use. RT, wow. You can see one with a very good win rate, 56%. If you keep playing, who knows? Maybe you could go up higher. Not a huge box. I like that. 18 units. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it correctly. And I admire that. Let's see if there's anything else that you could add. Hmm. I mean, obviously, Hagging is draft dependent. You might not always need Hagging in your draft. Masha is good though. Oh, not having Juno is interesting. Not scaled up makes sense. Not having Tassarion is interesting. Not scaled up makes sense. So I'm assuming all these units that are actually good in RTA right now is not in the box because they're not scaled up. And I admire that, that you're making those choices, making sure that everything else here is scaled up. Oh, Camilla's not though. You should apply the same rule to that unit as well. Everything else looks pretty good. Other than these skill ones, I'm pretty sure you're working on skilling them up because you should, really. Like, especially the Wind Panda, this is more damage here. And the defense break chance, up by 10%, you have to get that. You're in a P3 Siege, I really hope that you're only running like 4 defenses, which are not. You're running way too many, but you could tell that it's not really working. I would focus some of your best runes on these defenses. For example, this one. Do you need, uh, you probably want, um, like, why aren't you using your Ritra? Like, Ritra with Dark Siri is really nice. And then the Escher could go back in there. That already looks a lot better with Ritra, so I'll definitely do that. Uh, what was the other one? I said Chandra, right? With, well, I, I don't know if you have Chandra, that's the thing. Do you have more or Chandra? Either or, if you have a Speely with the Pyeongchar, will be great. Okay, you're lacking water Speelies. Okay, so that's understandable then. Uh, but Carcano Pyeongchar could still be an alternative defense like that. And that should still be working decently well. Let's see what we could add for the last unit here. Uh, probably want a water unit because you do have fire and wind. Camilla could go in there. That would be nice. Mm, I think Camilla is the best bet here. Right? Yeah. I don't know where Camilla is. So is it doing well here? Oh, that's, that looks like a weird one. Yeah, 0-4. Why do you even have that? You modify this. Let's get rid of that. And let's add the Pyong, uh, the Pyeongchot and the Carcano. I think this will do better. So that will be a defense. So those are the two. Because I added the Vritra with the Dark Siri. So I'm pretty sure there's other options. You could either use like Clara instead of instead of the Dark Siri. And you could use Dark Siri in another defense. I think the current defense will do the best. So the two that I've put up, I'll definitely recommend. Like these, this one and... This one and this one, I think if you ruin them well, it will do well. Or if, sorry, <laughs> that's obvious, right? 
if you focus your runes on these two defenses, at least these two will see success. Much better than it was getting, you know, with your other defenses like 0-4. Uh, other than that, uh, probably add like one or two more defenses. Like this is still usable if you give it nice runes. Same with this. I think right now your runes are too spread out for offenses. Yeah, there's one right there. Should definitely make more cleaves in this level because I think cleaves work well. And please take into my uh, t and please remember my advice. If you're in low level, if you're putting some of your best runes on your defense try to reuse those defenses as offense because it works you have to account i mean you have to take confidence and hope that your best ruined unit will give you the win and obviously that will be your defense units uh for more offenses please watch youtube and stuff a common one these days that you could try if you want to outspeed is going to be the julie bernard and galleon now the problem is if you use your galleon on offense the offense that i spoke about the second turn team you won't be able to use this galleon. It'll be too slow. So you'll need a second galleon. But it'll be uh, galleon, Bernard, and Julie. Uh, this does require some nice rune quality. But that's a, that's comparative. If you're in P3, you're expecting really P3 rune quality. So if you think your rune quality is either better, is either equal or better than the P3 people, then I think it's worth a shot. So this is something that you could run. Again, it's an offense where you could share runes on the fastest unit that's gonna be Bernard with the Rauk, right? So make sure that you are tuning the offenses correctly. Uh, we could add what we could add it here. There are a lot of videos showing this offense these days against meta defenses. Um, so if you want to figure out how to use it, please look at that. Again, it's a game of speed. So if you have speed, there's a higher chance you could win. Also, if they're not on will, then Galleon will definitely get the defense break. So you should get the win. Um, however, if they do outspeed. Obviously, the higher chance of you losing. Obviously, there's a higher chance of you losing. Okay, that's all I have to say for this account that's been resting for two, three years. You have to start from the basics, go back to rune farming and perfecting runes. So I'll say GB12. So I'll say GB of his hard, R5. And then if you think you have better Swift Despair, even Fatal Blade runes, you could then be like, okay, now I want to focus on Violent now or Dragons now. So. DB of his heart and R5. You never stop R5 because there are so many runes that you need to grind. And to perfect them, trust me, it's going to take hundreds and hundreds of grinds. So while you're farming for these runes, I'm oh, sorry. So while you're farming for these runes, grinding will never stop. Keep that into account. Always have your solo R5 team ready. If you want to farm something, you'd rather have two things, right? So be like, okay, today I'm going to be farming some runes and Behold, you have 1,000 runes, you have no more space, or, or 1,200 runes. And you're like, okay, I don't want to put the time in cleaning out my rune box right now, so I'm going to go farm solo R5. And you could do that back and forth. Yep, but that was it for this review, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want account reviews like this, please join my Patreon. If you guys want account improvements, join my Discord, fill out the Google form. RTA improvements are taking forever. There are so many people that want it and I can only do so much. The other improvements are a little shorter. So if you make sure you don't change what you want in the middle, because I might contact you thinking that you want a non RTA improvement. But then if you tell me that, oh, I want RTA improvement now, that means that it's unfair for the person who signed up earlier. For me, RTA improvement takes much longer. There's also like breaking periods due to the season ending. The list is much longer. But that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.